So for this question then, we've got to work out the range for f of x equaling this equation here. And as for all ranges, it's really useful to work from the graph. We've got it here, so that's great. And all it is is just taking the values of y that are from the lowest point of the graph upwards. Okay, so that's going to be from whatever this lowest point is up. Okay, now what is that lowest point? Well, it's got to be the minimum value on y equals f of x. And because we've got two terms here, this is the term that's going to vary. We can easily see that that lowest point is when this is a minimum value. And that's going to be when x is 3, because it will make this term 0 and just give us 5. So we're looking then at that smallest value of f of x. It equals 5 when x equals 3. So let's just mark that in there that that's 5. So for the range of f of x, it's going to be from 5 upwards. OK, so that gives us our range of f of x is f of x is greater than or equal to 5. OK.